Hello, this is Brian Houle with Beyond 20, and I'm here to take a quick look at Sharewell version 10. It is the latest version, and there's a lot of cool stuff packed into this release. So we'll be looking at this over the course of a few videos. In this video, I just want to talk about a few of the things that I am excited about. What we're looking at here is the uh, Sharewell IT Service Portal. We have some updated branding, really slick new look. If you go in, you'll notice a couple of different things. The login experience is different. Sharewell in this release has consolidated a lot of the authentication through the API. So you'll see the browser portal, you'll see the uh, browser client, all going through the API, as you can see here. So if we go ahead and log in, and we have, of course, my favorite, the uh, cards with search theme for the service catalog. Very cool stuff. Let's take a look at the browser client because what I want to show here is this related item navigation. It is a new interface element in 10. It lives down here and you can see that it has a, an all new look and feel for some of the common things that we used to put on tabs. Um, my favorite is the solution search as you see here. It allows you a lot more flexibility in searching for knowledge useful in resolving tickets. So for instance here I've done a quick search on the keyword error and I have a variety of options that appear in the solution search. Each of them has an action menu associated with it and this can allow me to do things like save the result in the saved uh, tab. I can copy the link which is a cool way to uh, distribute the knowledge or I can open it in a new window. This is a similar experience to what you have in the desktop client as well. Related item navigation is also going to be where your Slack chat can live. So in this version, we have an integration with Slack, which I'm very excited about. And that's going to allow you to open a Slack channel right in the related item navigation. Uh, we'll be looking at that in later videos in detail. There's cool stuff on the back end in this release as well. One of the things I'm very excited about is the uh, SAML settings are now integrated into a blueprint. and we go in and take a look, you'll see it's largely the same as before. However, we have this user mapping option and this uh, flag to create or update users when logging in using SAML. The exciting thing here is now you can keep your user data fresh. Whenever they come to the tool using SAML, we can decide to update Sharewell service management fields based on SAML setting attributes. Sticking with the uh, backend admin tool, uh, the other thing I'm excited about is the custom error messages at a field-based level. So if we edit the incident business object and say, let's take a look at the service field. That is a required field on the incident business object. And instead of having a one-size-fits-all error message, I can now say, okay, for this given required field, when there is an error, display custom text. You can do an error, and you can say something as simple as, uh, service is required. But, like all expressions in Sharewell, you can insert tokens from other business objects, other expressions, stored values, what have you. Very cool stuff. I'm very excited about that. So as you can see, there's a lot to be excited about in version 10. As we go along, we'll do a deeper dive into some of the more exciting stuff, the Slack integration, web hooks. There's a lot of accessibility improvements in the browser client and in the portal. So thank you very much for watching.